And we're back with a little repeats, ladies and gentlemen. This box yep. is once again appearing on our screen. Uh, time for some inspiration juice. He, he, the good stuff. The damn good stuff. You know, yep. you go first. You know, I like, uh, I find it funny how Samus, or the player, the first thing they do as soon as they see a new creature, like, oh man, this thing can kill me. Let's think really hard at it. And catalog it. Well, I suppose it's a trade-off, you know. We don't learn... We can't... We don't have Navi to, uh... Uh, instantly tell us what something is. True, but but this is, uh... Uh, this is big monster, so aim for the eye. Yeah, that ought to do something. That, that'll do a thing. Man, no wonder G the GF soldiers got lost or whatnot. Look at their crap. It sucks. <laughs> Even oh, the camera's a little zoom in, like, are you serious? Look and at this low pixel crack. Crack shot, Samus. Uh, you know, speaking of low, uh, low, uh, pixel or whatnot, that reminds me of the Space Pirates and the Mega Pirate. Like, you know how they have the flaming eyes, right? Yeah, and the, uh, that and all of them. I know it's really dominant in the, uh, in Prime 1. Oh, yeah, just the Prime 1s. But, uh, well, I, I mean, out... like, the first Prime. It's like, it's like, really noticeable. Oh, I think it was only in the first prime. Oh, okay. Anyway, continue. But, but the uh, I was dinking around with their file a bit, the 3D model, and it turns out it's just a bunch of uh, like 2D planes, colored bright orange or yellow, and just whenever they move, it looks like it's on fire. But if you keep them still, if you keep them still, the flame effect doesn't work. <laughs> That's why they're always moving. Or usually. Yeah, their head's always bobbing. Is that, that satellite now it looks like a giant cereal bowl. Um, I don't see it. I kind of see it. I kind of do. LJ sees it. I see. We still have these purple, the purple goop is still infecting them. And you know, actually, if you get really close, it's actually kind of creepy because they have, you can still see one of their eyes and it's just like yellow, I think, or dark purple. I know that's a big difference, but I can't remember. And it's just, yeah. but in just, staring at you and like I know just this corpse I know I probably their horror at death I'm gonna guess I'm surprised <laughs> we could get all political up in here I'm surprised Pete has never complained about the Metroid series I mean Sam is like the worst like uh, I don't know what words I'm looking for she she is a species extinctor She's not she just tolerant of the other species. She just she just murders wild animals left and right. Well, that's because they gave her power, and they <laughs> they were coming straight at her. Oh, it's like, if what's with these hungry doors? <laughs> they they're everywhere, LJ. They just want to consume everything. Samus, the, uh... Samus, the door attempts to eat Samus, but Samus is immune to flesh-eating doors. You know, if this game got a remake, I'm pretty sure they'd be able to make the GF soldiers, like, once they get possessed, look even creepier. And ladies and gentlemen, this is USB 5.0. Stick arm Sh cannon in. <laughs> Gun equal computer. Well, it's sort of like R2-D2, I feel like. It's like, insert weird cylindrical thing and access computers. Hey, this is I'm pretty sure that's the same model for the uh ship in the first game. For oh. the uh pirate ship. Oh, oh yeah, they yeah, probably, it was a frigate. They probably do. They probably reuse it. But you see like I'm saying, like this ship is it's Dink. more like it's more like a it's troop more like a character. full ship. Yeah, it's more like a troop assault transport. I think it is. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what it's supposed to be used, but it's like they have like where are all these boxes and the gates and all that all that stuff. Where the fuck did it come from? You know, there's probably this one guy who kept getting toilet paper from, from like, uh, he just kept getting toilet paper, and they one day just asked, dude, where are you getting all this toilet paper? And he just replies, well, I just radio command. 
Uh oh. Oh, uh, there's a beeping. You know, I also really like the uh, GF design in this game. I do. As opposed to the third game. This game, it looks like body armor in the second one. Um, when you say the third one, you mean corruption? The first guy to say anything in the Metroid series. Like, to have an actual voice. I think you might be right. Well, technically Samus does say something in during the intro. Or is it just a narrator? I can't remember. In the first game? No, in, um... In Super Metroid, there's like some really oh, bad that, audio uh, recording. I mean, I guess that's not guy. in universe, I suppose. Oh, that's just some guy. Like, yeah, I guess you're right. It's not like. I killed them all <laughs> with my bare hands. I ran a... oh. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> Time to take a nap. Bye bye. Honor the dead. You can't close the. Was were both of his eyes open before? Yeah, Sam Samus did the whole movie thing. Well, no. The real question is, if both eyes were open, how did she close one with only with How did she close both with only one being exposed? Did she reach her hand like, hold on? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think she actually did dig right on in. Like, come on, you're going to sleep now. <laughs> okay, so I have to bring up this question in video, even though I already asked you. So. That at least, big box in, at, least one missile. at least in the, this game, um, she reacquires her missile launcher from that Federation Ordnance crate. Does this mean that she is technically uh, guilty of theft of military property? Remember the splitters, the splitters did it, not the, Sam. <laughs> yes, the, that's really gonna. Well, I don't know. In this universe, maybe that report would actually be like, oh, okay group of insects stole missile launchers. They, they, they jumped into it and it exploded. Oh, she's just gonna say that it, that it was destroyed, not that uh, she's carrying it around. Oh, it, it, it blowed up while... It, it blowed up while I was... before it even it came there. It was always blowed up. Let's see, she didn't lose her missile launcher in corruption, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. But if she didn't, then that means... Did that that means she's troops... still using the missile launcher. How did that many troops fit in the ship? There are more troops than there are seats. Another thing. I feel like the designers just didn't really care. They needed a bigger ship. But they also wanted you to be able to go in it, apparently. And not get lost. Like, I I'm pretty sure getting to the cockpit is a huge hazard. When you're uh, when it's landed, because you have to deal with a big hole. There's a big hole where the drop bay is. I mean, I think it work. I think it's a pretty nifty design for like a, a troop assault transport. Yeah, it's, but it's a cool looking it's ship. It's not a freaking cruiser, which oh, is no, what no. they kind of geek it out to be with all the stuff they pull out of it, or claim that they pulled out of it. You know, I find it funny that the GF uh, troopers and everything GF in this game, everything has the same shape. Notice how like even their bits of armor is the same, like some the same cross shape. Oh Even yeah, the ship's a giant cross. They're they're it's single spam, huh? They're they're they're, they're damn friggin' space, cru uh, space crusaders. I mean space templars. Well, it's not exactly a cross. It's it kind of strikes me more as like a T with a like a lowercase T. Yeah, like a shield sort of. Yeah. But everything has that design, like their shoulder, the legs, their knee pads. Don't don't get me wrong, it looks cool. It's just. It's just one thing that's always caught my attention, is just... Everything looks like one thing. <laughs> you, uh, so you, we have... you were saying about the trooper armor from the, the third game, did you mean corruption? Yeah. Yeah, I, it wasn't... It I, looked okay, but it just seemed, uh... I don't know, it looked less like armor and more like... a like uniform. Mm, I will In this admit, game, it was a it was armor for protection. I will admit that it wasn't as good, but still better than other M's design for uh, oh. soldier armor. In other M, they just look like glorified Power Rangers. <laughs> wow, well, dang! It. I, don't, I don't. I don't know Power Rangers well enough, but we need we need to insert some catch Power Ranger catch race here. They only had armor on their wrists, their to their upper torso. Their shins and their cod piece. I 
I know we're not talking much about echoes, but we keep getting distracted. But I'm gonna have to continue with that for at least now. So in other M, they talk about uh, what were they? Were they the seventh platoon? Uh, I think it was eleventh. The eleventh platoon. Okay, the numbers I suppose not as important. We're gonna go with eleventh at this point. I have to shoot a missile first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before I get on with the eleventh platoon. I am very familiar with Prime 1, and so that's why in that playthrough I was just like, go, go, go. I know where everything is pretty much. I was just on top of it. This one, I'm really rusty, and I didn't, I've didn't. i never played it nearly as much as Prime 1. So I'm going to wander around a bit and get lost, and it's probably going to get worse as the game gets further on. I'm not What's as mean? ancient. It's, it's a gray alien. It looks different from Elvis. Uh, must, it's a, must be different universe. Yeah, th this isn't Elvis. This is like uh, uh, Iggy, <laughs> like Iggy Pop. Okay. Th these space aliens don't like classic rock and roll. They like oh, punk. The punk, punklians. I wonder what this elevator. Whoa! <laughs> Could you imagine riding that? It's like, oh, I wonder how this elevator. <laughs> and Samus is like, I don't feel it. Where are the G's? Oh, there's my stop. See, some, unless your suit weighs as much as I think Sam's suit weighs, you get shot up into the roof. <laughs> she puts you just like, boof. Yeah, it's like an instant blood rush to your brain. All your blood just shoots straight up. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm okay. I'm going back to the 11th platoon. So, they're apparently the 11th platoon. Isn't there only like seven or six dudes? In the, Cause, cause yeah, there's, there's Adam, there's, oh gosh, I don't remember anybody's. Yeah, name. there was only seven guys. There's seven dudes. I mean, that's not it's, a platoon. It, that's it's, a squad. It, it's space. It's space bros. But if we're gonna, if we're gonna, we're gonna go by real world logic here. So we apologize if you try to initiate space because space logic. But that yeah, that's no that's 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 a squad. They ain't no platoon now. Attempted justification. Could they... You're better, a little bit more better at military than I am. Could it... Would it be correct to say that they are part of the 11th platoon? Would that still be correct? Even though they're not the whole platoon, but they're like, we're from the 11th platoon. You know, the only time I've ever heard anyone say that is... Even if there's only like, like seven dudes. Like, I am... I am a first squadron something platoon. In that sense, it's proper. So... But just straight up calling yourself 7th platoon... No, that's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't say, you know, it's like, well, we're from the 11th platoon. It's like, no, yeah, they, they're like, like, we are the platoon. Yeah, they, they straight up say, yeah, we're 11th platoon. <laughs> oh, you're not. You're squad. You are... You should be first squad, 11th platoon. But you can't just be a platoon, you're too small. And also, if I'm not incorrect, a platoon is um, not a large enough organization in a mili typical military structure to be considered self-identifiable so it's like in reality you also have to be like well what like what company are you from and then what oh i forget what's above company but it's like whatever's above company is like that's like your your real thing yeah like, am i right on that i think so i'm a little rusty on the military stuff yeah i i did some research recently so that's why but uh yeah i i'm forgetting some of it so anyway Bad uh, Nintendo writers who aren't doing research or just don't care. One Damn you, Sakamoto! Or, or probably you suck at writing things. What's this? More purple stuff. We've seen this oh, before. Boy. Hey, hold on. Purple haze. While well, you're doing that, let me scan you. <laughs> this is a prime opportunity. So uh, yeah. now you got a health bar. Also, one more complaint about the eleventh platoon. What's that? A platoon is typically led by a lieutenant or a captain, following you know typical yeah. typical now, military ranking systems. Yeah, a proper officer. Yeah, um, well, Adam's a proper officer, but he's a little excessively ranked. He's a commander. That's uh. That's... It, if it's so, that's a naval rank, sure, but you know it's space. Navy and Marines tend to get mixed in space, so we'll just say naval rank. So there's ensign. Lieutenant Junior Grade, Lieutenant Full Grade, for lack of a better term. Lieutenant Commander, Commander. That's the fifth rank. 
going over to Army slash Marines because they, you know, borrow the same Frick officer your... names. Frick yourself. Frick yourself. <laughs> we got second, first, captain, major, lieutenant colonel. So why is the lieutenant colonel leading a freaking platoon? Apparently he's got nothing better to do. It's a super secret special mission. Hey, <laughs> it's a space yeah. fairy. Navi, I it found just... you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of pictures that she made when it crashed into her torso. <laughs> Can you do that again? <laughs> 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 the screen is black. <laughs> Oh, oh, damn, it's already over. <laughs> uh, do... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, there's <laughs> we've acquired the Space Fairy from <laughs> the Dark Alpha Splinter, and we it's... still have no clue what's going on. I it mean, the reason we came to this Samus. planet, they're all dead, so pff, that point's mute. Uh, we stole their stuff, and... Um, our ship is broken, so we ain't got nothing better to do, so let's keep wandering around until we find something to do. And some fairy just windshielded right in your torso, so... <laughs> <laughs> hey, threat scan said, no negative side effects. It's the gaseous version of Powerade. <laughs> but, don't forget to rate and subscribe and share with your friends, and, uh... Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Watch out for space fairies. Yeah, or also make you do weird, weird sounds. I should make a monologue so that next time I'm going down an elevator, I have a whole monologue ready. What should I what should I name somebody who's trying to kill people? The deleter. That sounds good, I'll save that one. I'll recognize this theme. I knew I smelt idiot. <laughs> Sir, we've got idiots. Lots of idiots. Space and, uh, idiots. <laughs>